Hello everyone and welcome back to Chaos Vale here with your master of horror for the evening, lying in bed months. So, today we are addressing a slight flaw that has been developed by virtue of some of the updates recently. Uh, specifically, uh, let me hop down. Um, we can still spawn the Haunt Hunter. Okay, sorry about that folks, I don't know exactly how much of what I've just been talking about for the past seven or so minutes has actually been recorded with audio, so to summarize quickly, I'm making gas craft stuff which requires me making engineer's toolbox stuff because the grinders no, lo no longer work on the Horned Huntsman, and so far I've gotten the modular socket which is the baseline thing which has three different in inventories for items, liquids, and power, and you do that with the control circuits, the PSU, and the machine chassis, and I'm now making blank modules in order to actually use uh, use the blank socket. So, let's see, I need some glass panes, which I have none of. Helpful. Uh, unfortunately, we're just made of sand around here, so... Gee, whoop. Okay, things are going nuts. C, O. Uh, compressed sand. Stick it in there. Okay. So, not much has changed around here. I've been fiddling about with where the access is to this hardened energy cell, which is sort of the power for these, this side of the room. Um, and I've been trying to figure out where the power keeps bleeding off to. But if I cut power to this, uh, like as in, no, as in this isn't receiving power or, or transmitting it, the power still goes down, so I'm pretty sure it is something within this machine set, probably this alloy smelter, if I had to take a wild guess. Uh, but I think at some point in the near future we'll be completely renovating and redecorating this place, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, how is our glass? Good. And I shall craft this over here. There we go. Okay, one, two, and three. Gets us 12 blank modules. And we are going to need the fracking module, wherever that's gone, there it is. Uh, which requires another control circuit, two hoppers, a bucket, a diamond, a bit of iron. Okay. Entirely possible. And stick that in there. Can also stick that in there. Okay, so. Let me see. I need. Two hoppers. Fill. Balance. Get. Iron. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Ah, so in other news lately, uh, I have been mostly doing my final year project work, which you probably have already seen the video for. I put up the demonstration video that was as that was submitted as part of my final documentation on it. You. And, let's see, I have a control socket, there it is, and a bucket. Um, so I don't know how, them, how they will mark it. I know that they'll more or less always mark it badly, because that's just sort of how I go in academia, but I am really, really, I'm really, really happy with it. Oh, I should mention, this big hole here, um, if you click on this crystal ball without anything, like, in your hand, it predicts the future, so I accidentally did that once or twice, and what that does is gives you uh, a prediction. That prediction may be that you'll stumble and fall, it may be that you'll get some kind of boom. In the case of me, it was stumble and fall, which meant that those nine pieces of what are now dirt uh, turned into gravel, this space downwards to about here got erased, and I fell. Which is why there's now this big hole in the ceiling. But anyway, we've got our modular socket, and we've got our fracker. So we stick that there. That is now registered as a fracker. And if we pick this up... Oop, have I just... Where's it gone? Okay, did I just lose my fracker module? Or is it actually still there and just playing funny? Hmm. Nope, I think I've lost it. Okay, so, lesson learned. Even if you have Silk Touch on your pick, don't do that. Uh. Okay, I'll be back in a moment then when I have another fracking module. 
Unfortunately, they're not too expensive. Okay, fracking, mo uh, fracking module regained. So, inputs shale resource fluid into its output tank when water or, sli when water or liquid water is pumped into its input tank. Uh, must be placed on the bottom of a socket. Only works if the socket is directly above a shale resource block. Slick water doubles the output. I don't as yet know how to get slick water, so we'll have to touch on that later. But uh, let us make a socket remote, which is fairly straightforward. We have Tons of ender pearls right now. So let's see, control circuit and a blank module gets us the socket remote, and this is used for telling uh, the different parts of this socket. Because remember, it has the three different inputs for everything. And can I pick this thing up? So apparently not. Redstone circuit select. Redstone latch select. Generic mode. Module lock mode, facade removal node, tank select. Okay, so let's set that to tank zero. And we also want to tell this thing uh, items, let's go one. Okay, and I think I can pick this up with this. How do I have it? Now I have it. Okay, so there you go. It tells you what modules are on it which is very handy for our purposes. So now we also need a pressurizer, which requires a whole ton of copper, but I think we can cover that. Copper blocks. Brass. We might actually have some trouble here. Ah, oh well, that's not an issue. I should have a few copper in, a few copper ores in here. And we'll just do this quick and dirty and shove them in there. I, have, I, I can d create so much stuff from this factorization setup right now that I don't really need to mind too much. Doop doop do. And our last one, okay. So, pressurizer. Increases tank capacity to 32, uh, 32 buckets is the conversion there. So let's us stick that on the top of our thing here. And we are also going to want a input uh, module for power and fluids, and as well as an output one. So let's go with the energy input. That's uh, just two pieces of copper or two nuggets, which we have. Good. Okay, energy input. This does need power to work. Uh, I will probably just take down. And let's put the power there, and let's pick it up again. <laughs> I could just leave it there, but it's so fun to just pop it out like that. So, everything retained so far, we need a fluid input and output now. So let's see, that is a... F is that that's a dropper, isn't it? A dropper and a nine... Buttons. There we go. Do I have a spare dropper? No, I don't, but they're really easy and cheap to make. So, let's see, grab some oh, grab, grab more copper than that. Singular compressed. And a dot of redstone gets our dropper. Okay, there we go. Another module. Okay, fluid output. Now that is the side that the gas that we're after is going to come out of. So let's stick that there. And we'll have, need to tell this to output... Uh, oh wait, I need this to be on the right mode, don't I? Doop, 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 doop. Uh, nope, that's facade removal, that's tank. Okay, output from zero. 
and then we need the fluid input. So let's see, items, item extractor, fluid input. It is a blank module and this, that. Okay, that's way cheaper. I suppose because you don't need the droplets, actually, you get rid of it. Alright. Fluid input. Now, into this, we need to put our water or our slick water once we've actually figured it out. And that needs to go into tank zero as well, I believe. I am quickly going to check because I took a screenshot of when I was working this out. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Everything runs slowly right now because the texture pack and other parts of Chaos Hill are doing weird stuff. And the conclusion we draw is... Zero one. Okay, fluid output needs to be one. Tank interface, I'm probably not going to need. Uh, fluid output is one, which is the thing that this is actually feeding into. Okay, so there. That should be everything. We can make a tank interface, uh, which will allow me to bring it buckets of water or, or take out pieces of... Okay, so eh, that's cheap enough. We might as well make that just as a, as a display. So let me see. That was blue, well, lapis, glowstone, and redstone. Add three pieces there. A glowstone, a lapis, and a module. Gets us our tank interface. So let's stick that on the front. And let's have this show us what's happening in tank zero. Uh, or should we put this into tank one? Let's set that to tank one. Although I'll, we'll, I'll bring, bring this along with me anyway, so we'll be able to find out. Okay, so that is the modular socket that we need to go fracking finished. Uh, now I'm going to need probably an aqueous accumulator. But uh, let's go and install this, and let me see, do I have... Uh, I'll just take up the backup one, actually. be easier. Okay. So, up we go. Back down to the bedrock. There is our shale gas. Here is our modular socket. Send power into this through the back. Uh, yep, it has full power now. And now it needs water. So, let's see, I'll grab a tank on the way. Hoop. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, bucket. And there is a spare couple of tanks in here, so let's grab that. Bit of water. I'm not quite sure what that noise was. What what around here could be? Oh, it's probably just that. Uh, silly me. Del, a port. Okay. So let's stick our output tank there, and this is present. This tank is presently displaying the wrong thing for us to be feeding into. Basically, the tank interface lets us first see the capacity that this is presently on, and it also lets us feed into and out of it, so let's give this to zero. Oop, oop. Okay, and let's take a look. Uh, hmm. Oil it has produced. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to quickly set up a tank to fully go into this, and then we'll see exactly what this is pulling up.
Okay, so I've got an accuracy accumulator now feeding into this thing, and it's giving me oil, so not what I was looking for. Now, that, that was ostensibly only possible if you had the uh, build crap mod installed, but nope, we apparently have shale oil instead of shale gas, which I swear shouldn't be happening. It's turning up as shale gas in the, in the whaler, but apparently this is shale oil. Ah, well, that's a bit of a shame. But, uh, not to worry too much. We can still take a look at the different parts of this that are going on. So there's the water tank. And that is what would be the uh, oil tank, if I get rid of this. We should be able to see it building up. Uh, maybe a little bit. Oh yeah, we can just see a little black line at the bottom there. That's going to gradually increase. But, uh... I evidently need to dig around and find the right way to, uh, the, well, the, the right ore at bedrock level. It shouldn't take too long, this thing digs through places quite quickly. But uh, meanwhile, I guess we have a bunch of oil. Uh, but what I'm planning, what the way that you do this with getting the deadly neurotoxin is you get natural gas from the shale gas, and you put that through a refiner to get... Uh, where are you to get propellant and then you put that into another part of the engineer's toolbox which is the mixer combine that with um, I believe it's algae possibly uh, to get deadly near either it's either toxic gas or deadly neurotoxin but we'll find out more on that when I've managed to find it next episode so anyways I should catch you all next time if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favorite. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to be notified of future updates. You can also check out the website where most other content is uploaded. That's all for now, catch you later.